Kirsty is taped before a live studio audience. I'm sorry. Ever since I played the scarecrow in high school, I'm terrified of fire. <laughs> and scarecrows in high school. <laughs> Here's something else for you to be afraid of. <laughs> oh, oh, what did you do? I was trying to make a birthday cake for Arlo. A cake? You don't know how to make ice cubes. <laughs> well, don't they come with a refrigerator? <laughs> don't worry. I've got it covered. Uh, what do you think? I think that this is the first birthday that I'm spending with my son, and if you think I'm going to give him a store-bought cake, you don't know Madison Banks. Oh, oh, oh. sink cake. I don't care how long it takes or how many people have to die. I am giving my son a cake made by his mother. Oh, my God. Together. Oh, God, his birthday's gonna be a disaster! No, it isn't, because who knows you better than anyone? Ice and cakes? My God, this refrigerator is amazing! <laughs> Arlo just texted and he'll be home any minute. Hey, hey, hey! Surprise! <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday! Hey! Wow! I can't believe that you remembered. Of course we remembered. <laughs> and look, look, look. I got you a present for every year of your life. Happy 19th birthday, Arlo. You know I'm turning 27. Not when she's turning 39. <laughs> All right, it's gift opening time. Sit down. All right, I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you this one because I know you'll love it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, a purse? No, not a purse. It's a man's action bag. <laughs> For the man on the go. Where is he going? To a gay rodeo? <laughs> Maddie, thank you. I love it. It's great. Uh, it's kind of like carrying a flat football. <laughs> oh, don't open another one yet. I have a surprise for you. I've wanted to give you this since you were a little boy, but I never had a chance, so here it goes. Thelma, please tell me you see that, too. Where's the birthday boy? Hey, little fella. Uh, uh. Hey, you don't look anything like the ad. And just for the record, you're not honking anything. My ex-wife got the horn in the divorce. Which is ironic, because she was never horny. Uh. For my first trick, who would like to pull a banana from my pants? <laughs> but you better be of age. I'm not going back to the slammer. Oh, boy. Where do you folks like to throw up? Right out here. Oh. Is it me? Because I, I, I thought he was great. Wow, thank you. That was not what I was expecting. All right, Arlo, to make up for that, let's see your birthday cake. Oh, look at this. Hmm. Oh, this leather is so supple. Would you stop mauling that thing? Oh, I can't help it. Mmm, the smell of a fresh man bag resting against your chin. Here's your favorite. Strawberry layer cake. Oh, oh, no. I'm actually allergic to strawberries. How did I not know that? Probably didn't come up during those seven hours you spent raising him. 
Look, the thought was enough. Thank you, Maddie, so much for all of this. The man bag, the drunk clown, the deadly cake. It's all really more than any 27-year-old could wish for. Thank you. It's 19. Right. So, listen, I'm, I'm really sorry. I didn't know you were going to do all this, and I've actually made plans with some of my friends. Plans? Can't you just blow them off? I mean, you haven't opened your gifts yet, and the party's just starting around here. We're going to gather around the piano, and I've got my Cole Porter songbook. <laughs> oh, look at the time. <laughs> They're all waiting for me, so I should probably get... Um... Look, you'd probably hate it. The bar's really loud. You can't even talk, but if you really want to... Yes, thank you. We'd love to come. I'm really sorry, Arlo. Your mother does not understand the empty gesture. <laughs> no. Please. Come. You see? He wants us to join him. Let's join him. He sounds like a hostage reading a ransom note. <laughs> Will you stop it? I think I know my son. Oh, wait, honey. Don't forget your action bag. <laughs> Look out, ladies. There he is, Argo in the house! Argo? Argo? Oh, I've been calling him Arlo for a month. Uh, uh, guys, this is Maddie, my birth mom. Yes, Madison Banks. Yes. That Madison Banks. But for tonight, let's all just pretend like we're equals. <laughs> wow. I see what you mean about her. Yeah. And uh, this is Thelma and Frank. Hi, guys. You can call me Frank. <laughs> all right, everybody. Who's drunk enough to get this karaoke night started? Oh, karaoke? You didn't tell me there was karaoke. Yeah. That's the best thing to come out of Japan since Hello Kitty. <laughs> Hey, karaoke. Now that's about to change. Sign us up, I'll get drinks. Okay, but if I get sloppy drunk and start hitting on young guys, let me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how long have you guys known Arlo? Oh, we practically grew up at his house. Oh, so then you know his adopted mother. Oh, yeah, everybody loved Lorraine. We all wanted her to be our mom. <laughs> Remember she used to make the most amazing homemade birthday cakes? Yeah. <sighs> so she said... <laughs> Actually, Maddie threw me a really great birthday today. Yeah. Show him your action bag. Oh, no, they don't. Yeah, show him the bag. Nice. Is that where you keep your tampons? <laughs> you guys see the man bag? It's got a separate pocket for his rape whistle. <laughs> That's right. It also has room for his diaphragm. <laughs> what? I thought we were all giving each other the business. Get liquored up, especially you, because we're three songs away. You didn't get yourself a drink, Frank? No, 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 I never mix booze and weed. I'm a chauffeur, not an airline pilot. So how do you like his friends? They couldn't shut up about how perfect his adoptive mother was. I mean, I can't even find a way to bond with him. It's like we have nothing in common. Well, I've seen you both tear into a bag of kettle corn pretty good. First up, we got a birthday boy, Arlo Bob! Oh, you guys do! Get up there! Oh, oh Arlo, wait. So you're gonna go sing? I have to. They signed me up. Okay. Oh, my God. He's gonna humiliate himself. Everybody, everybody, look, it's his birthday, so don't laugh. He's had a really hard life. He'll die if he eats a strawberry. <laughs> Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and you're never coming round Every now and then I get a little bit tired of listening to the sound of my tears Every now and then I get a little bit nervous that the best of all my years have gone by Every now and then I get a little bit tired and then I see that look in your eyes
sings, it's it's like music. <laughs> wow, he is really good. Of course he's really good. He came from inside me. There've been a lot of guys inside you, but they can't hold a note that long. <laughs> You know, Arlo, I still am speechless. I mean, your voice. You never told me you were good at anything. Thank you very much, but it's just karaoke. What you have is a gift. You should do something with this. You could be a star. <laughs> Are you serious? This is a career. Why is this so important to you? Because you have talent, and it's the first thing we have in common. Before I heard you sing, it was like we were from two different planets. It took karaoke to make you feel like we're related? I know, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> I know so many people in the music business. No, I don't want to be in show business. <gasps> if this wasn't a public place, I'd turn you over my knee. <laughs> you could change your life with this voice. Thelma, Frank, tell him. You could change your life. <laughs> I like my life the way it is. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Do you know what some people would do for a chance to be famous? I don't know. Maybe give up their kid for a part in a play. You know who else gave up his only son? God. <laughs> and you don't see people giving him crap for it, do you? You're comparing yourself to God? Only in the sense that we're both public figures <laughs> who made questionable parenting choices. <laughs> what? Well, I, I don't think... Look, about last night, let's just make an agreement that this is the second to the last time I'm ever going to bring this up. No, after you've cut your demo tape. Uh -huh. I, okay, fair enough. You're right. We've just started to get to know each other, and no one likes to be pushed. We're good, Maddie. Let's just move on. Could you just give me a second chance at the birthday celebration? We just do something easy, you know, like go out for a cup of coffee. Okay, as long as a clown car doesn't pick us up, I'm in. Oh, then let me make a call. <laughs> Just kidding. A recording studio, you've got to be kidding me. You said we were going for coffee. On my mother's life, there was a Starbucks here two weeks ago. And I assume you two are in on this as well. We're merely sheep. <laughs> they just wanted to be here to support you in your shining moment. You're not listening to me, Maddie. I gotta take a walk. Arlo, why... All right, I'll go after him. Oh, Led Zeppelin, I drove for them once. But they drove me. I don't know. Got there somehow. It wasn't my spaceship. Oh my God, you know, this mothering thing is so hard. It's hard for everybody. It wasn't for you. Oh, Maddie, look, I'm gonna tell you something I never told anybody, not even my husband. When Fiona was four, we were at Macy's and I lost her. You? But you're the most anal controlling, officious little dictator in the world. <laughs> I really appreciate you saying that. <laughs> but yes, even me. So I was holding her hand, and I let go for one second to find a half-size larger shoe, and she was gone. Oh, my God. What kind of shoe? Maddie, it's a 20-second story. Stay with me. <laughs> the point is, I found her 10 minutes later. But during those 10 minutes, my life stopped. I thought I was the worst mother in the world. You know what? I felt that way the whole month. And it's not going to stop for the rest of your life. Welcome to parenting. <laughs> Come on, Arlo. She set this whole thing up. It's one song. It'll mean a lot to her. I just don't know how to deal with her. Is she always like this? You mean deceptive? Manipulative? <laughs> Entitled? Selfish. Hey! Watch it there, mister. That's your mother you're talking about. You know, when I was searching for her, I just assumed that she'd be a different kind of mother. You know? More like a mother. 
Arlo, that woman is a carnival ride. <laughs> and not one of those fancy ones. And we're talking rusty bolts and an operator on meth. <laughs> but man, if you hold on, you will have a ride of your life. <laughs> or die. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Lucas. It looks like Arlo isn't going to... Not be awesome. Let's do this. <laughs> he was a little nervous, but I gave him a shot of vitamin Frank. Arlo, this is my wonderful and talented friend, Lucas Kogan. Uh, nice to meet you, Arlo Barth. Okay, that's the first thing we need to change. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my driver, Frank. Yeah, we know each other, Lucas Kogan. I don't think so. New Year's Eve, 2002. The woods behind Billy Joel's place. A bloody mitten. Oh, wait, that wasn't you. Frank Baxter, nice to meet you. Okay, you want to give it a shot? I'd love to hear this voice. No problem. I just happen to have brought it. <laughs> and if you lonely, hold me tight. We'll be holding on forever. That's all you need? Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Good. He's amazing, isn't he? He's like a young Susan Boyle. So you want to sign him today? But you want me to get him some press? Slow down, man. You know, I was thinking after he cuts his album that I should get him a publicist, right? And right. sort of create a buzz. You know, maybe do a publicity stunt. Like, maybe he could go to an award show and punch John Mayer in the throat. <laughs> Maddie, I'm sorry to have to tell you this. The kid's got a voice, but that's it. He's not a star. Well, how can you say that? You know that thing that makes you a star? He ain't got it. If you don't believe me, ask somebody else. They'll tell you the same thing. Tell Arlo I enjoyed meeting him. And my two cents, even if he's not in the business, change that name. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm so sorry, Maddie. I know how much you were counting on this. I just don't know how to break it to him. Oh, you were right, Thelma. This parenting thing is a bitch. You want me to have a little talk with Lucas? There's an empty grave behind Billy Joel's house that I may or may not know about. <laughs> hey, where'd you go? Thelma and Frank said you just took off. Oh, I just didn't face you. They told me what Lucas said. I'm really sorry. I know how badly you wanted this. Well, didn't you want it too? To be honest, I was only doing it because I knew how much it meant to you. And Frank scares me a little. <laughs> but hey, we don't need a record deal to prove that we're connected. I'm your son. So you actually feel like we belong to each other now? Well, let's not get carried away. We just met. You have no idea how special I wanted this birthday to be. No, I get it. It's the first time you get to acknowledge my birthday. No, it's not the first time, Arlo. Your birthday has always been the toughest day of my year. It was? Yeah. You know, I went into labor with you while I was watching Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> and every year on the 24th, I lock myself in my bedroom, and I watch that god-awful movie, <laughs> and I pray that you are happy and healthy. You know, you're not gonna believe this, but I hate that movie, too. Seriously? <laughs> no, I loved it. I had the hat. I never <laughs> did. But hey, we can always start a new birthday tradition. <laughs> and what would that be? Once upon a time I was falling in love But now I'm only falling apart There's nothing I can do A total eclipse of the heart A total eclipse of the heart Happy birthday, Arlo.